Hey everybody, good afternoon. It is just about 20 to 1 in the afternoon now. We are Friday, March the 10th. Here in Sault Ste. Marie, it's a little overcast, a little chilly, but who cares? The harvest spirit is here from McKeel Marine. I'm going to try and give you a good view here. This is my first video from home. The unofficial season has started here in the Sioux. The locks don't open for another few days. But the Harvest Spirit is here to load steel coils at Purvis Marine, which is below the lock, so they don't need to lock through. Captain Adam Hagen is aboard. I think our friend Bill Sly is aboard too, but I haven't talked to him in a week or two, so I don't know. So here they are. So nice to see a ship going by again. They had no problem at all on the river coming upbound. Um, in comparison to even last year when they did this, it was quite a chore. Uh, Captain Lozon was aboard at that point and I was down at Johnson's Point then, but they really needed the Coast Guard to break and re-break uh, the channel. There was a lot more ice, it was a lot colder. And it was even really snowing uh, when they were coming upbound, whereas this time I went down there, I was very surprised. There was not much ice at all, so they were able to break through quite easily. As you can see, even in this video in the foreground, there is actually open water on the St. Mary's River in front of my house. So the harbor is basically empty. They'll have no problem pulling into Purvis Marine. They'll be here for four days loading coils, 12 hours a day from 8 in the morning until 8 at night. And then after that, they will take off and head probably down to Monroe, Michigan. They were taking it easy the whole way up Lake Huron. They didn't go beyond 9.6 knots. So that worked out really well. I was thinking it was going to wind up being a transit in the dark, but I guess at this time of year they wouldn't be doing that at all. So They were at detour this morning at 7.15 and they were arriving at uh, Johnson's Point around 10, 9.30, something like that. And now here they are 20 to 1 and they're here. So pretty good for this time of year, I think. I'm definitely going to head down to Purvis Marine. I don't know if I will be able to do that today. Tomorrow is going to be a sunny day, so I may go down there tomorrow or even this evening just to take a look at the coils, show you what those look like. They are gigantic. I did a video from there last year uh, prior to going aboard and showed everybody what the coils looked like. You don't realize how large they are until you're actually standing next to them. The yellow towers that you see on the deck are actually cranes. The base of them is red and then the actual towers where the booths are are yellow. They are operated from the crane itself. Uh, there are shore crew who actually go aboard and will be working the cranes as they did last year. Again, 12 hours a day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. they'll be loading. When the transports bring the coils to Purvis Marine, each transport will only take two at a time, and some of them I've seen going with just one. So it takes a long time because this vessel can carry, I think it's over 600 coils. So they've been prepping for this trip for weeks. Uh, trucks have been showing up at Purvis and they've just been stacking them on site. And then they have um, a loader that can take the actual coil right to the edge of the dock and then the crane takes it from there and puts it in the cargo hold. All of their cargo holds are hydraulically operated. It's really cool. They just kind of come up and then lay back down flat again after when they're done. I don't know if they'll start loading today. They probably will. I don't think we're really getting much in the way of snow, just some flurries is all.
captain has invited me to go aboard for another tour. I've never actually met Captain Hagen in person. We've been friends for years and have talked since he was on the Saginaw. But I've never actually had a chance to meet him in person, so I might get an opportunity to do that while they're here over the next four days. If I do, you'll see some videos from aboard the ship. I'll hopefully get a chance to interview Captain Hagen. He's a very good speaker and writer and photographer in his own right, so it would be fun to talk to him. In the meantime, there they go into the harbor. I will get this posted a little while, along with everything else that I've had going on. And we will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody, and bye for now.